measuring to see if I've got it close. It needs to come just a frass this way. Okay, now, you don't want to rub over this writing, but just one time, if possible, so that it won't start running. But that one layer will seal it. Now I want a tiny bit more of this paper to overlap here. I went ahead and worked for a little while so that it wouldn't be boring to just see me putting these papers on. But again, I'm still trying to put light and medium and dark um, in various places. This is a baby girl, so um, I know her room is these colors. This one and this one have a little bit of the pinkish color that she has. So I'm adding some of that. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's some of this. This will be a lighter one next to that darker. And I'll put something different right there. Let's put a little bit of this fibrous paper over there. That'll be good. Yes. Okay. So. I wanted to mention also, I've noticed when I've watched other artists doing jelly printing and making handmade books and so on, that often they'll start a sentence and then not finish it right away. And I thought I would just mention that that is because they're doing something creative. And of course, creative things, drawing, music, painting, so on, creative writing, all of that is <clears throat> done on the right side of the brain. But talking, is on the left side. So it's natural that we would have a little bit of trouble if we're really concentrating on the art that we're doing, not to be able to do it perfectly. So give some of us a break when we, I know part of mine is just getting older too, but part of it is because I'm thinking about what I'm doing. Art is cri critical thinking and um, people who do that in some way, some type of arts, you're helping your mind to um, participate in critical thinking. Did you know that? Of course, stuttering is um, on the left side because that's talking, but 
you'll remember Mel Tillis and some of the other people who had a problem with stu stuttering that when they were singing, they had no problem at all. So that helps to know that. Got a little place over here on the side that needs a little more paper down on the bottom. And then I'm just adding some glue to the bottom and flipping it under. Okay, a little bit more. These thicker papers, you may have to rub them down, keep punching them down so that the air bubbles won't get under there. There's a little string that needs to be glued down. Okay, let's see. I want to use some of this lacy looking paper up here toward the top at least. So, and maybe I will put some more of this black under it so it will show up. So let's put that right there. to keep that end up so that I can tuck the other under. Okay, let's see how much of this I need. Tear it off down here. <clears throat> and we're coming to a close. I always put my artwork up somewhere in the house so that I lean it up or whatever so that I can look at it for a few days. But of course, um, you need to go through an evaluation process and look at it and see if it is what you want. And if not, go back and change something. to my moreno wool. Let's see if I've got a couple of pieces here that I really wanted to add some of that since I went to the trouble to fix it. I'm going to put a little bit right there. This comes from sheep, and <clears throat> of course lambs are there too that have these fibers on them, and I enjoyed seeing those 
when we were in New Zealand and some of these Moreno sheep are live in New Zealand. Um, but anyway, maybe this little bit of fibers from the sh lamb or the sheep will remind us that the Lord is the lamb, our lamb, sacrificial lamb, and he will watch over this little baby and take care of her. All right. As I said, I don't know if I'm finished yet or not because I have to look at it for a day or two and think about it and evaluate what I've done and if I want to change something. Um, and you still can change some things. You could even uh, gesso over parts of it that you don't like and redo it. But right now, I, I think I'm fairly pleased with it. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Okay, I have looked at this for a while and I remembered that I have some washi tape that says I love you in different languages. So I think I'm going to put some of this right on some of the sides of this collage. <clears throat> see there's that side and maybe one more side over here on this side maybe She will feel loved in several different languages. I hope you can make some of the papers and try a collage with Japanese rice papers.